Hello and welcome to the channel. Today in this tutorial we'll draw this simple model in FreeCAD as another practical exercise. So okay, let's create this model. First here let's go to FreeCAD and in the start page here click in this plus icon to create a new document and now switch to part design or French. Okay, and now create a new body and a new sketch in XY plane. And here in this first sketch here, what we'll draw here will be a sketch for, we'll draw this sketch here. Okay, so what to do here, first here, go to sketch geometers and select this polyline tool here, click in this icon. Okay, and next draw this sketch. Okay, and next here we'll set the dimensions of this sketch here. So first here we'll set this angle here, 135. So select this missing angle and now these two lines and set this dimension here, this angle. Okay, and now select these this constraint distance tool and here we can see this dimension here for this line here 80 and this line here 112. So click in this line here and set 8 millimeters and next to this line here and set 112. Okay and now for this line here we have 72 millimeters. Okay, and now we have two degrees of freedom. So here we'll set this this vertical dimension here and this mission here. So now select this vertical distance tool and now click in this link here and set A3. Set this dimension and next here select this point and this point here and here we'll set a distance of 102 millimeters. Okay, and now we have this sketch full constrained, so leave this sketch now and press home and next click in this extrude icon and the length of this elaboration here, we can see the distance here, the estimation here, so here we'll change the length and then click OK. Okay, now we have this part here and the next step is to create this pocket here. So the way to do that is to first select this space here and then go to the fitness tool. Okay, and here what we need to do is to first change the join type to intersection. Okay, and next change the thickness here to four millimeters. This dimension here. So change here to four and then click OK. And now as you can see, we have a pocket here. And the next step here is to create this part here. Okay. So now we'll create a sketch. Click in this icon here to create a new sketch. For this sketch here, select YZ plane. Okay, and switch to section view, click in this icon here. And now here we'll draw a rectangle in this origin point. So go to sketch geometers and click in this arrow and select rectangle tool. And then click in this point here and draw this rectangle. So next here we'll set the dimension of this rectangle. So first here select this constraint distance tool. And okay. The horizontal dimension here will be 8 and the vertical dimension will be 4. So click in this line here and set 4. And this line here set 8 millimeters. And now leave the sketch and what we'll do next here is to change the attachment of this sketch. So here in the review select this sketch and then click on mouse and select attachment editor. And now click in this button here and select this edge here and then inertia 2 and 3 here and click OK. OK and next here we'll use this additive pipe to create this part here. So first here, what you need to do is to select this sketch and next click in this icon here, add the pipe. Okay, and click in this button here, now go to model and here in this first pad here, click in this arrow and select this sketch. And now go back to tasks and here change the corner transition to rent corner. 
okay and now click ok now as you can see we have this part here and the next thing to do here is to create these these parts here okay so next here what we do we select this face here and we create a new sketch in this face okay and here we'll extract some edge of this part here so go to sketch geometers and select external drum to tool okay and first here we'll draw this sketch here for this sketch here we'll use slot tool go to sketch geometers and here select this tool here slot and then draw this slot here okay let's hide these constraints here and let's set the dimension of this slot here so first here select this constraint cycle tool and for the rates of this arc here we'll set we'll set seven okay and we'll set this dimension here 28 for this line so here select this vertical distance tool and set 28 for this line here and now as you can see we have one degree of freedom so the next step here is to center this slot in this line here so first here hide these constraints here and the next click in this point icon and create a point here and now go to this smart constraint tool and now select these two center points of this slot and then this point here and now select these two endpoints of this external edge and then this center point here. And now as you can see, this slot now is full constrained. So next here, we'll place this slot here in this line. So what we need to do here is to copy this, is to select this sketch here and then, okay, and then here we go to this tools here and we select clone okay and now we place the slot here here we go to smart constraint tool select this tool here and then this point and this point here and now click in this point okay and next here we'll set this line here vertical so now select this constraint here and then this line okay and now we have these two slots full constrained and next here we'll create these cycles okay so select cycle tool here and draw this cycle here and next here we'll constrain the demo of the cycle to we'll set 14 here we have a range of 7 so the demo of the cycle will be 14 okay and and now here we'll place these all cycles okay so what we do here okay first here select this cycle and now this clone tool okay now as you can see we have the cycles so next here we'll select this three center points of these cycles and then this okay and do the same for these four cycles okay and now we're considering the placement of these cycles so first here what we can see is that these two center points here are vertical constrained so what we do here first we select these two center points and we set this constraint here vertical constraint and here we can see this distance between this line here to this center point 12.5 so here we select horizontal constraint tool and we set 12.5 millimeters and here in this in this point here we can see the same dimension so what we do here we select this point and then this point here and we set 12.5 ok 
okay and here we see these distance between these center points of these circles so here we'll set the distance so first here select the these two center points and set the distance okay and set the same here okay and next here we'll send the these circles in this line here so the way to do that is to use this symmetrical constraint tool and then and now select this endpoint and this endpoint and now this center point of this cycle here okay and we'll use the smart constraint tool in these two cycles so first here to select this point and then this point here and now this point now select this point this point here and this point Okay, so now we have this full constraint, and next here we'll create this rounded rectangle, and then these two, this part here. So first here, go to sketch geometry, just click in this arrow, and select rounded rectangle tool, and draw this rectangle. And now select cycle tool, and draw these two cycles. And select this trim tool, and trim this arc now, and this arc. Okay, and now hide these all constraints here. And okay, here we'll set these two lines equal. So first select this equal constraint and then these two lines. Okay, and here as you can see, we have these distance between the center points of this rounded rectangle. So here we can select this constraint here and set the distance for this line here okay and now let's set the placement of this rounded rectangle so as you can see here we have to place a horizontal constraint here for these two center points so what we do here we go here in these constraints and we select cons horizontal constraint here and now these two points okay and next here we'll place a vertical constraint for this center point and this line here so select this vertical constraint here and then this center point and this end point here okay and now let's set the range of these arcs here we have we have a range of 10 here so now select this constraint here and now this arc here and set 10 Okay, and now let's constrain these two arcs here. So, okay, for this arc here, we have 18. Set 18 here, and for this cycle here, we'll, we have a range of 25. Okay, and next here, let's set the placement of these center points here, these arcs here. So, first here, we can see that these Two center points here we have to place a vertical constraint here so select this vertical constraint tool and then these two center points okay and next here we can see this vertical distance here between these two center points 15 so select these two center points here and set 15 Okay, and the distance between the center point to this line here is 35. So now select the center point and this point here and set 35. Okay, and now as you can see we have one degree of freedom here. So the next step is to set the horizontal distance between this point to this point here. So as you can see here we have this distance here. Okay, and now we have the sketch full constraint. So now leave the sketch and now click on this pad icon, set reverse it, and now here in the tab chain to add face, and now select this face here, and then click OK. And now as you can see, we have this part here. Okay, and next here, what we'll do, we'll create this pocket here with five millimeters so 
what you need to do here is to first select this face and then this face here and now clicking this pocket icon and here will set a length of 5 ok so now click ok and next here we'll create these these holes here these three holes so what you need to do is to first select this face here and create a new sketch and here we'll extract some edge of this part so here in the sketch geometry select this external drum to tool and extract this edge here this edge and this edge and this edge okay and now select cycle tool and draw cycle here in this rectangle okay and now let's set the diameter of these cycles so first select this machine cycle tool and for this cycle we'll set a diameter of 15 okay and for this cycle here we'll set 25 and for this cycle here we'll set the same diameter 25 okay and now as you can see we have two degrees of freedom so what you need to do is to center this cycle here in this in this rounded rectangle so what to do here so this symmetrical constraint and then these two center points and this center point of this cycle and now leave the sketch and create a pocket here change type here to show goal and click ok and now as you can see we have these three pockets these three holes okay and next here what you need to do is to create this chamfer here in this face and the size of this chamfer here is one millimeter so first here select this face and next is this face here control and select this face here and now click in this icon and as you can see now we have a chamfer operation here and the size is one so click ok and the next thing here is to create these three dead holes here so what you need to do here is to create a sketch with cycles in the center points and then we'll use the, the whole tool to create the treat so first here select this face and create a new sketch select this external drum tool and extract this edge to get the center points Okay, and next here, select this cycle tool and just draw cycles in the center points. Okay, and now as you can see, we have these all cycles here. The diameter of these cycles is not important. So now click in this icon to leave this sketch and then click in this whole tool. Okay, and as you can see now we have these holes here. So the next thing here is to change the parameters of these holes. So for example here we'll change the profile to isomatch regular profile and here we'll check this option treated and model and here model treat and next year we'll change the size the reference to m6 okay and the depth of this tree here will be 20. so change here to 20 and now scroll down and change the drill point type to flat okay and now click on this refresh icon so as you can see, we finished the design of this model. So thank you for watching this video. And please, if you like my work, please support me on my Ko-Fi page. So in this way, you will help me to bring me content about FreeCut and, and also to grow this channel. So thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.